Hello, Mario. So in this instructional video, I'm going to put in the building setbacks. So they're at one to um, one to two hundred scale, and they're um, for the side yards one point five meters. 1.5 meters and uh, so I'm just going to mark them there I could maybe parallel them off but I'm just going to do it like that and then just put a nice light line uh, through there like that no I'm not so I'm going to be, uh, display good drafting practice and use this here so that's one there now I've lost where that one is, so it's quite important that you get your ticks and things in the right place. Yeah, that's it there. It's one there and one there. So we'll just draw a nice light line down there like that, 1.5. Okay, now... Um, you must be careful here that it's parallel as these lines are different um, you'll see that um, you have to go parallel to each line so 1.5 meters there um, like across that one so that's just light lightish there and uh, then I'll just bring this down here. It's a very sticky afternoon, so it's not not good for uh, drawing. One point five. One point five. Um. I'm going to check that one. Ooh, it. Oh, yeah, that's it there. Okay, and 1.5 off the side yards. Now these um, building setbacks um, 1.5 meters would be seven and a half millimeters. Um, so I could do it with this here. 1.5 meter uh, would be, uh, what did I say, seven and a half. So um, one meter is five mils. So one and a half meters will be 7.5. Be like that. So you could do it um, with in millimeters, uh, like so. So that would be. 7.5 you like that that one will come down there like that like so get them lined up and then across the front um they want a big bit more of a setback it's a a three meter setback so three meters that would be 15 mils uh one, uh, one meter, five millimeters per meter, at one to 200. So there we go. And we put that in there, like that there. I've left this plan off the board, but um, I could um, just as easily take it off the board, really. Uh, to make it a little bit more easier to work with but um, yeah I'm going to leave it on here for now now I'm going to um, just uh, pick those in so possibly two millimeters one millimeter two millimeters one millimeter just approximately I'm getting a little bit uh, carried away there but um, 
These are just a, a pecked, what we call pecked or dotted. Um, putting it in there like that. And uh, like so. Um, one of the things we've got to be careful about is where we place things. Um, with uh, using AutoCAD, of course, it's uh, a wee bit easier. Um, oh gosh, I've gone way off there. Got that. Got that wrong. Um, I think I might actually take this off the board after having said all that. I can always put it back on, um, but I'm just going to uh, take it off. Um, it's just easier to move the paper around and get in a pos better position for uh, printing and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, I can always put it back on. I've got the things there and I can line it up. So, yeah, it's only there if we need um, bits and things. So, yeah, I'm just going to take it off the board there. And yeah, now this will be a little bit easier to work with. Um, can get it a little bit closer in where I can see it a bit better. Yeah, put that in there. Hmm, like that. So, try and keep it even. You can use your ruler. Sort of like that. Okay, and this comes in across here. Oops, I have to get a bit closer there. And tip up, that would be make entertaining viewing if I flip the board up. So, um, yeah, these uh, building setbacks, um, they can vary. Uh, these are the ones for, I think, the um, living zone or the residential zone i'm not quite sure what they call it in the hamilton city council uh pretty standard the 1.5 meter you'll find this in the uh, district plan somewhere um usually yes yeah, so that's probably a good idea to you know just to make a find that source um uh, where, where you where you're going where you find it or maybe even just keep a little if you do find it, you know, just take a little cut and paste of it and put it in a in a file somewhere so that you can refer back to it. But um, yeah, now these these are not set in concrete, of course. Um, you can um, you can go inside the 1.5 meters, but you just need to get your neighbor's position, uh, your neighbor's permission, and uh, then you can. Um, yeah, then you can uh, go inside the the 1.5 um, meter building setback. However, if you go if you go uh, inside a meter from the wall, then then if you're building, say for instance, a garage, um, then uh, you would have to um, have the the wall facing the boundary has to normal has to be a fire rated or a firewall. Um, so, the, what does that mean in reality? It just means normally, um, sort of building a, um, you know, uh, putting some chipboard on it or something like that. And um, you can't have any windows in it. So, a fire rating wall can't have any windows. So. That's what that means. Right, so that's um, that's uh, there um, like that. Now I'm just going to refer to here just to see um, what I've done. And I've just put the 1.5 setback uh, inside the setback. So um, I'll just um, draw those uh, on here. Um, right, um, 1.5. Um, this is a three meter, so 
we'll just uh, put them in a, a, a three meter like that uh, there um, so yeah I'll just get on and do that And there we are. The setbacks are now on the plan. Um, initially, I um, started putting them on the uh, wrong uh, uh, side. I wanted to put them on this inside here. So, um, yeah, I um, put a, uh, a few little lines back there unnecessarily. So, um, yeah, there we go. So that's the... Uh, the setbacks there okay so um, I think the next thing that we will do is uh, we will um, position the um, house on the on the site so that's uh, for um, another another video um, we'll see we've got a just uh, looking ahead we've got a distance there and a distance there to the corners of the house and um, yeah a distance uh, that we can uh, fit in there so um, we'll see how that goes and then um, I think oh we've got another distance here that we've got to put it in so um, one of the things that we'll have to do is determine uh, the the measurements of the the outside sort of measurements of the house and then once we've got that in there obviously it's going to be at quite a small scale so um, we can't show too much detail, but we can uh, certainly uh, get that on there and uh, there. And then from there, I think we'll possibly do the uh, Balkan location uh, things and then uh, perhaps the, uh, the driveways and footpaths, uh, we'll get those on. And uh, then possibly the garage. And uh, I think that'll... Um, uh, that'll possibly um, oh, do us, although we could uh, yeah, show the uh, parking, but um, I think the uh, manoeuvring uh, here, the manoeuvring would be, would uh, just clutter this particular um, plan too much. Um, also, we've got the uh, building platform uh, diameter or the shape factor circle, um, which has to be inside the yards. And then... Uh, We'll put a little bit out on the street. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. But there we go. Um, that's um, the the setbacks done anyway. So on to the site plan. Um, you could possibly split it into could have split it into two plans. Uh, one with a like a site plan and one with a um, you know like a land use plan. So which is the stuff um, relating to the uh, as it relates to the um, the planning aspects of things that the things that come out of the district plan so yeah all good cheers see you